Good morning and happy St. Patrick's Day. Now, just a real quick note before we get into our reading in Deuteronomy 15 this morning. On this day when people think about St. Patrick, there's a couple things. First of all, St. Patrick was actually English. He was taken to Ireland as a hostage slash slave. Went back, learned the Christian faith. At that time, the Christian faith was more unified than it is today then went back to Ireland to take the gospel to the same people who had enslaved and treated him poorly all those years earlier. And so in a lot of ways, you know, as people think about St. Patrick's Day, it's not about green beer. It's about remembering someone who loved his fellow man and woman enough to take the gospel of Christ to them. And where we are today in our passage in Deuteronomy 15, oddly enough, is about mercy to those who need it. Deuteronomy 15 and verse 7, the word of God says, Is there among you a poor man of your brethren within any of the gates in your land, which the Lord your God is giving you? You shall not harden your heart nor shut your hand from your poor brother, but you shall open your hand wide to him and willingly lend him sufficient for his needs, whatever he needs. Beware lest there be a wicked thought in your heart, saying, the seventh year, the year of release is at hand, and your eye be evil against your poor brother, and you give him nothing, and he cry out to the Lord against you, and it becomes a sin among you. Now surely you shall give to him, and your heart shall not be grieved when you give to him, because for this thing the Lord your God will bless you in all your works, and in all to which you put your hand. For the poor will never cease from the land. Therefore I command you, saying, You shall open your hand wide to your brother, to your poor and your needy in your land. You know this injunction, Tyler, about the poor, there would always be poor in the land. And the simple fact is that there are those people that just, no matter how much you help them, uh, there's just something in some people that money and financial stability is not where they're at. And it's easy to harden our hearts and say, well, it's their own fault. But notice what the Lord says, you give so that they have their needs met. Not their wants. Someone, I need my cable bill paid. No, 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 that's a want. I need my water bill paid. That's a need. And you and I, as Christians living in America today, we are, many of us are so extremely blessed that I would ask you the question, have you hardened your heart against the poor? Or is your hand open to give and help meet needs? To help meet needs. Do you have a thought on that, Tyler? Mm -hmm. All right. And you say, well, you start out with St. Patrick. Yeah, St. Patrick, or as so many people call him St. Patrick. He knew that the greatest need that those people who captured and enslaved him had was that they were more of slaves when they owned him than he was being owned by them because they were slaves to sin. And he brought them the gospel of Jesus Christ and set them free. Today, Think about that. Think about doing what people need in Jesus' name. Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. We're wishing.